What in the hell is going on with Slothana? The community is actually going crazy right now. Currently, it is May the 4th, and it's been almost a week since the pre-sale finished, so now we are going to be taking a look at the aftermath. Before we jump into today's video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts. Always remember that this is not financial advice, so without further ado, let's hop into it. So first things first, let's check out Twitter and how Slothana is doing. Once again, 33.5k followers, and they did grow quite a bit after the pre-sale. Now, looking at their pinned tweet at May 3rd, the sleepy sloth finally woke up to find out some of you loyal Slothana followers missed your tokens. Whoopsies, it seemed like all transactions went smoothly, but a tiny portion had failed. But hey, I crawled out of the sloth, slothful nap and sent out those few, last few take tokens, plus a bonus for the late receivers. Check your wallets. Thanks for hanging in there. And hey, updates are coming soon for all you sloth holders as a reward for being so loyal. 150k views almost, right? And looking at the community, so apparently some people still haven't received it, right? Uh, this person hasn't received it and using Phantom Wallet. Uh, still nothing in my phantom wallet hasn't even arrived in my trust wallet yet, right? So uh, some weird feedback from the community. Some people still still have not received this even after this announcement uh, on May 3rd. Just a day prior from that, the sloth airdrop has been completed. If you didn't receive your tokens, it's likely because you sent from a centralized exchange like Coinbase. These tokens were airdropped to the exchange's wallet address as user wallet addresses from centralized exchanges do not show in transactions. They even noted down here, please import into Phantom or Trust Wallet. So those people, you know, who have Phantom and Trust Wallets, you know, you should be going uh, that, that uh, direction. So taking a look at the pricing on Dex tools, right, we're just under one cent at 0 0.0077 of a dollar. In the past 24 hours, we are down 2.38%. And uh, it's overall just not a good look from when they did, you know, launch the, the price has, you know, dropped quite tremendously. And, you know, in the past day or so, you know, we have seen uh, quite a bit drop right now. Uh, looking at the market cap, it is 15.53 million right now. Uh, liquidity is just over 2 million. 37,000 holders currently, a 2 billion circulating supply. And yeah, the past seven days even, it, it's just all red. Seven days, 24 hours, six hours, one hour, five minutes even, right? So um, that's, it's typical for, you know, after pre-sales that, you know, the price will drop. But the way I've been seeing the community for Slatana, I can tell they are very, very strong. One of the pinned tweets they even had over here, they said, Updates are coming very soon for all you sloth holders as a reward for being so loyal. So they might actually have something cooking up, something, you know, some big announcements, some uh, maybe some big advertising, a big collaboration coming up. And guys, this is pretty typical for pre-sales that, uh, you know, the price will kind of uh, plummet a bit after their launch. So that's why it's always important with looking at your portfolio and how you want to go about it. What's recommended really is under 5% of your portfolio or your net worth should be uh, allocated to pre-sales, right? If you are bullish on a certain project, you have faith in the community and the team behind the project, then that's a good uh, you know investment where you should be putting a bit of your percentage of your portfolio into pre-sales. Uh, but most of the time, if you want to play it safe, you want to get the best longevity for this bull run, it's best to allocate more of your funds towards the more uh, utility based uh, projects and tokens, you know, something AI based, something the RWI coins, uh, maybe Bitcoin, Ethereum, right? Some of the top players uh, to diversify your portfolio and make sure you can get come out on top uh, as best as possible this bull run. That being said, looking at the coin market cap, some of the meme coins, like seeing how they're doing right now in the past seven days, a lot has been in the green even. We have the Dogecoin, Pepe, Shiba Inu, Dog with Hat, uh, Floki, Bonk, they all been pretty much doing pretty well this past week. Uh, even looking at the uh, the main coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Solana, BNB, right? Uh, they've been doing all right as well. So it seems like this past week has been pretty good, pretty decent. And only time will tell as, uh, you know, the months and weeks go on. That being said, guys, just a quick update on uh, what's going on with Slothana recently. Uh, hopefully most of you have gotten your airdrops, if not all of you. Make sure to stay tuned in the next coming weeks because I will be uh, giving updates on Slothana and uh, new news that comes out with them to see where exactly this project can go. 
Anyways, thanks again for watching. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts on this video and then what projects you'd like us to cover next. Make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.